Hello boys and girls, and uh, welcome to another episode of Maths Videos. Uh, today we're going to be covering Aerial Perimeter. There will be a couple of videos on this, so we'll start off with today's uh, first session on Aerial Perimeter. So we'll start off with Perimeter, uh, and then move on to Area. So let's uh, spin up a whiteboard. Okay, so, so start off with the definition of Perimeter. So uh, the perimeter is defined as the distance around the edge, which, which what it means is you need to add up all the all the edges or all the outlines of the shape and add up all the all the sides. So um, so if I got a let's say I've got a rectangle here and it's five by three uh, by five. And three here. So the perimeter of the shape, you've got to add up five plus three. And it's good to tick it as you go along. So you don't make miss out any, any numbers. Five three. So that's ten add six, so it equals sixteen centimeters. Okay, notice it's centimeters. Okay. Um so sometimes you'll have a compound shape like this shape on on the on the diagram below. And you have to, and they might give you missing values you have to work out. So this bit is seven. This bit is seven. This bit is three. So what is x? Well, x is seven take away three. Because x plus three equals seven. So that equals seven take away three, which equals four centimeters. Similarly, y is six take away six take away three. Is three add y equals six. So, so y equals six take away three, which is three centimeters. And now to add up the perimeter, you add up all of these. You add seven, add three, ten, uh, add four, add three, add three, add six, and that will give you the total distance. Okay, which is sixteen. Good again to tick it as you go along. So when you're adding these numbers, so you don't make it miss out any numbers. And that's that's the simple perimeter. Sometimes you you you're given a perimeter of a shape. So um, let's say you have a this is a, a regular hexagon. I thought it actually, and each shade is five. So this how many sides are these? Are uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. So it's a regular hexagon. And and they've uh, so the perimeter will be five times six, which is thirty. Sometimes they might say they might say this, this side is x perimeter is forty two. So what is x? Well, x equals forty two divided by six sides. So forty two divided by six. Which equals seven. So each side is seven centimeters. Okay, let's move on to the next topic, which is area. And area is space inside a shape. And so for a rectangle, it's got to memorize its length times width. So if the length width is three and the length is ten, it'd be three times ten, which is thirty. Centimeter squared, so it's got to be squared. Because, uh probably um, remember in uh, year three and year four when they did areas, they are they arched count them squares. Similarly, um, you got this this you got to add that that in the units. So centimeter squared squared. So don't forget that. Okay. Again, they might give you problems. They might give you the area, and they might have to, you might have to work out what the sides are so let's say let's say the area you got the length is 10 but area is 40 centimeters squared what's the width so you do 40 divided by 10 which is 40 divided by 10 40 divided by 10 which gives you four centimeters okay right okay and the final topic we're going to do is area of a triangle. How do you find the area of a triangle? A triangle is really half of a rectangle. 
So if you could, if you imagine this as a triangle, really it's half of a rectangle. So just in a, in, in a way, in a rectangle, you you find area of a rectangle, you do length times width. So the area of a triangle is going to be half the length times width, and the length the length is going to be the length times width. What you have to make sure is you don't include diagonals in in a triangle. So if this is four, and this is ten, and this is six, length and width is four times six, and then you halve it four times six. And then you divide it by two. Don't include ten. Don't include ten. Don't include the diagonal set. It's really important. Don't include diagonals as your length and width. Okay. Do not include diagonals. So for instance, length and width is there, and your height here. Do not include this bit here or this bit here you're given these sides five five six and four you do six times four you don't include this one here these five your diagonals okay um so that's it that's the uh, that's uh what is area and perimeter that's video one, number one and we'll move on to the next video